Despite the secrecy, despite heavy security, a surprise visit to Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, is for a leader who was at the very top of Russia's kill list at the start of the war, at the very least, a calculated risk. President Volodymyr Zelensky personally surveying the damage made it clear it's never too soon to begin rebuilding. We have to find some money and credit lines. The state must provide guarantees, and cities must find super projects and find the money, because in the cities, governors and mayors are more likely to find one or another European program for housing construction, some state programs and some local programs. This is a chance, a chance to give a new look to such districts. No, just chance. He even went to the front line to inspect Ukrainian positions and met with soldiers stationed in and around the city, handing out awards and service medals. I want to thank each of you for your service. You risk your life for all of us and for our state. Thank you for defending the independence of our country. Take care of yourselves. Glory to Ukraine. A trip meant to project strength and raise morale to a place that is still very much a front line in this war. A third of the city remains in Russian hands, and areas not occupied by Russian forces come under regular attack. Just hours after he left, there were missile strikes on the city. The Ukrainian president has won widespread admiration for his wartime leadership, at home and from allies in the West, which he is hoping translates into more long-range heavy weapons, and soon. Zelensky's first visit outside the Kyiv region comes as Russian forces continue to pummel cities in the east and south as part of the Russian forces' objectives to try and consolidate as many gains as possible in the Donbas region. And as Ukrainian forces plan and prepare to mount counteroffensives to try and stall and possibly push back what has been an unrelenting Russian advance. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Kyiv.